We've got crop destruction on. I can take care of my weeds by just running over them. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Mama Joe. You you want me to come down to the to the restaurant you have a a proposition for me? Well, you know, Mama Joe, I'm 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 really flattered, but you know, I'm already married, so Oh, wait, no, not that kind of proposition. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh if I come on down, can you make me some of those biscuits and gravy too? You will? Oh, great. Okay. I'll see you right there. Yes, good morning, Mama Joe. Your coffee's really good, by the way. Have I ever told you that? It's delicious. So, so you have a proposition for me, huh? You, uh, you own the farm next to me, the Elm Street farm, and you just can no longer keep up with it. So you're, you're offering, offering to sell it to me. Well, that's that's really kind of you, Mama Joe. I, I I might just actually take you up on that offer. Yeah. Uh, so okay. So if I buy the farm, you'd like me to to install some greenhouses and uh, supply you with lettuce, tomatoes for your burgers and strawberries for your strawberry shortcake. I I think we could probably make that work, Mama Joe. I really do. Hey, I uh, also wanted to ask you. Um, do you know uh, if there's any place where I can maybe find some silos uh, for 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 cheaper than what they're selling for here in Elm Creek because they're they're really expensive. Yeah. Oh, check the city of Mod Hub. I might find something uh, a little less expensive there. Okay. How far away is Mod Hub? It it doesn't matter. Just order it online and they'll deliver it. Oh. Okay. All right, Mama Joe. Well, hey, I appreciate that. Um. I'll, I'd love to buy your farm from you, and um, we will see what we can do about getting some greenhouses installed and start supplying you with veggies uh, for your delicious food. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for the biscuits and gravy, too. They're wonderful. What? Oh, one more thing you say? If if I'm borrowing the, the townspeople's equipment to other people's do other people's jobs, the least I should do is, you know, put fuel in their vehicles and wash them before returning them? Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's fair enough. Okay, thanks, Mama Joe. Um, I'll uh, I'll meet you at the bank, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, drop the papers and and take care of this sale. All right, guys, welcome to <laughs> Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I uh, I have two hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars. First of all, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, so so we we cleared one hundred and twenty thousand cool dollars from uh, all that contract work but oh my goodness i cannot tell you how long it took me uh to do all that stuff it just took forever um and so i created that uh you know that that the montage video i was gonna you know add it to the end of the last episode but it just got to be too much and i figured well let's just release this as a separate video and uh, yeah so i hope you guys uh watched that and enjoyed it uh, the music was great and uh, really, really in enjoyed doing it. But uh, yeah, we've got some money now, guys. Uh, we're not filthy rich by any stretch of the imagination, but we now have enough money to buy the Elm Street farm from Mama Joe. And um, if you overheard our conversation, uh, you really, you know, you shouldn't be eavesdropping. That's not very polite. But yeah, um, so she's got uh, a, a cultivated field here. Uh, thanks to yours truly. And she also has some cotton growing on the field. Uh, but what she uh, what she was hoping we might do um, is put in some greenhouses and and then supply her you know with uh, some of the produce that she needs for her restaurant. And you know the thing is is this field here is it's pretty uh, it's pretty small a and it doesn't have anything on it at the moment except for weeds. So I'm I'm thinking about maybe. Uh, you know, getting rid of this field and turning this whole area into a big yard here for our new farm and, uh, you know, put it in some greenhouses. And then maybe later on, you know, we can put in some chickens and some cattle and stuff like that uh, in this area. And uh, so that's kind of what I have in mind. But 
Uh, first of all, I guess if we're going to buy this farm, we should actually buy it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head on into uh, the map here uh, and hit the farmland. Okay, so this is it, man. We're buying Mama Joe's farm for $156,264. Make you holla. Here we go. Boom. It's a done deal. The farm is now ours. Hallelujah. All right, we have expanded our territory, peeps. And we still have $111,000 left over after that, so we're not completely broke. At some point, I would like to pay off the bank, but, uh, you know, we're still kind of in that stage where we need every bit of money we can get in order to grow the business. So, uh, anyway, this is cool, man. I wish these doors would open, because then we can actually go in there and store stuff, but um, they, they, they don't open, which really sucks. Um, so, yeah. This silo, unfortunately, is is just for looks. It doesn't, it's not functional. It's really too bad that it isn't because, man, we could have used that. But nevertheless, we got ourselves a cool barn here now. And, and we can store stuff in here. Um, you know, some of our smaller implements we could we can bring in here and store. But we can't really store anything down below because there's no way to get down here uh, with stuff other than, you know, me walking down here myself. But that doesn't really do us any good. Yeah, that is just too bad that that doggone door doesn't work, but it doesn't, so it is what it is. Nifty. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, what do we, what, bloop, talk, what did we get with the farm? We got the barn, uh, which we can use the upper part for storage. That building back there doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I don't know of any way to get rid of it, because I would if I could, because it's just in the way and it doesn't do anything for us, but it's there. And we also have this uh, nice little shed here, too. And, you know, all of these tools and things that you see are, are just for looks. They don't actually have any function. Uh, so we are going to have to eventually buy ourselves a workshop. But we've been in here a couple times before, and it does have a nice little uh, loft up here with a hammock, you know, to sleep on and stuff. Uh, but, I, you know, I want to buy a house, too. But with the uh, Sleep Anywhere mod that, you know, I've been using, we don't strictly need a house right away and you know we we even still have the house on the other property that we can you know for role-playing purposes still sleep there so yeah wow this was cool man uh, our very first property expansion in the playthrough so um okay so now what <laughs> gotta figure out what the next movie is here uh, so we got this cotton uh, since it's there, we might as well, you know, uh, do something with it. And, we're, and it looks like it's got a 98% yield bonus, which is great. That's going to, you know, that's better than the yield bonus we got from the sugar beets. And we have this field over here, too, uh, that doesn't really have anything go going on. I'm almost tempted uh, to, to combine these fields, too. I mean, this road here is kind of nice to have, but not necessarily essential. Because we have that road over there. And, you know, we can pull in here. And then, if you know, if we need to go, like, around the barn, we can just kind of swing back around this way. So, I don't know. I, I have to think about that some more. Uh, we could even expand this field a little bit more this way, too. Because I'd probably keep this trail here just because it's kind of cool looking. But all this grass area here, we could probably expand this field a little more if we wanted to. And uh, this field here, I might even expand it out another plow's width or so, too, uh, and bring it right to the edge because we have so much space over, you know, here. Now, in the uh, in the easy start of the game, the farmhouse is right here in this spot, and I see no reason not to to do that also when we, are, when we can afford our own house. Now, I could buy the little kind of mobile home place. It's like 20 grand, but... I think I'd rather wait until I have enough money and buy a real farmhouse and, you know, kind of do it right. And in the meantime, you know, again, for role-playing purposes, we'll just continue sleeping in our, our old house for now. So, yeah, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm not even really sure what to do now. <laughs> I've been gunning for this farm for so doggone long, and now we got it, and now it's like, okay, now what? <laughs> I mean, it's not that, like, there isn't anything to do. There's a ton of things that need to be done. Uh, including get you know getting something planted on this field, which we'll do. Uh, in fact, I guess I, I'd like to move my stuff over here, so maybe we'll do that first and kind of get it situated. But let's look at the the calendar here.
So we are in July. We could plant canola. Uh, yeah, that's the next thing we could plant. And canola is supposed to you know, be a fairly lucrative uh, crop too. And uh, But we wouldn't be able to harvest it until like a year. It's, it takes almost a, a whole year uh, to grow. Or we could wait until September and then plant wheat or barley if we wanted to as another possible option. If we look at the prices, though, you, canola's selling for, you know, five fifty nine at the highest at Goldcrest Valley, whereas barley is only, uh, yeah, two. Two ninety seven and wheat is three twenty six, and all of all three of those crops, you know, we're going to have to wait approximately a year to harvest them. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe canola. Did we did we ever look? Whoops, uh, I keep hitting the the wrong button there. Did we ever look at the at soybeans? I haven't really paid much attention to soybeans. I have soybeans on my multiplayer server farm, but I haven't harvested them yet. Um, oh, those sell for a lot of money. Wow, that's even more than canola, like twice as much as canola. Um, okay. And we just we just missed the the time to sell it, but that doesn't matter anyways cuz you know, if we pr plant the soybeans, oh shoot, we can't do that though until uh until next April. Hmm. The nice thing about this is it's kind of like the oats where you, you know, you have like a half a year in between the growth and the harvest. So that's something to think about. If we did canola, we, we wouldn't be able to do soybeans because we'd have to, we'd be past the planting season for soybeans before we could harvest the canola. All right. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking. I, I like the idea of soybeans, but I don't think we should wait that long and just have our fields sitting here not doing anything. So what other options would we have for planting? The only the only options really are hay, which you know, definitely or grass, which is definitely an option. Um we could do the same thing we did on the other field, where we could plant hay until the end of March, and then tear up the field at that point and then put the soybeans in. That might be the best way to do it because then we're getting, you know, two crops in a single year off the field. That is exactly what we did on this field too. So, yeah, I think that's the tentative plan for now for the fields. Uh, let's look at the cotton, by the way. So cotton is, um, uh, where's cotton? Okay, so cotton, we can harvest that in October and November. So we're not really going to be able to do much with the field until then. And the field does not need any prep, which is great. So that's in, in really good shape. We do have all of this meadow grass that we could cut just as some extra hay. But what I think I'm going to do once we harvest this cotton is I'm going to expand this field, you know, uh, almost all the way out to the road. Uh, just, you know, again, so we're getting the most bang for our buck. Okay, so that's kind of what I think we're going to do for the field. Now, we do need, you know, we do have our oats that we need to harvest over here. And, you know, we could expand this field now, too, and bring it even further over here because we don't really need this area over here any longer for staging since we have the new farm with more space over there. So I think what we'll do once we harvest the oats is we're going to expand this field, too, and just... You know, bring it all the way the heck over here. Might as well get get a little extra bang for our buck with it. We should. Hmm. We should probably leave an access road here, though. Uh, the question is, do we want it to run straight up through here? Or would we want it to... I, I, I found that extra piece of wood left over from our our logging a long time ago. Or would we want to just run it along the side here? And kind of have it just kind of come along the perimeter. I mean, you know, it's it's not probably not that big a deal to have a road going through the middle of the field. It'll, it'll give us more direct access. <clears throat> 
And, you know, if we're going to bring the field all the way to the edge anyways, it's not really going to take up that much more room. But, I'd, you know, I'd like to be able to get in and out of here and not, you know, have a, have the field right here. So, I don't know. I'll think about that. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards having the road just follow the, the field here, but then plow that area and just plant whatever it is we're planting um, over there, too. Okay, so... <laughs> what to do? What to do? Uh, there's no more contracts, and we won't see any more contracts until August, of course. And we have until the end of August before we have to harvest our oats. So that gives us a little more time to, you know, do some some of the August contracts, get a little bit more money, and maybe get ourselves a silo. Now, Mama Joe told us that there's a, a city called Mod Hub <laughs> that uh, may have some less expensive silos so that's something we're going to have to look into uh, but of course in real life uh, i'll have to look up that off camera find something that might be feasible and then install it in the game so that might be something we, we could look at potentially for the next episode so for this episode why don't we go ahead and get our stuff moved over to the new farm and kind of figure out where we're going to put everything and what what does it cost to put in a greenhouse? Is that something we could potentially do right now? Greenhouses. Yeah, see, even the biggest one's only 10 grand. So I'm almost wondering if, whoops. Tell you what, let's, uh, let's go back over here for a second. I'm almost wondering if, if we put in three of those and have one for tomatoes, one for lettuce, and one for strawberries. And I believe the only thing they need is water. And I don't know if that's something we have to to provide or if it's, you know, some, some of these buildings are like hard plumbed. Uh, but let's just see what kind of space we're looking at here. Okay, so we'll, we'll turn this way. Uh, go to production and greenhouses and... Oh, yeah, we have lots of room. Um, we'd want to flip them around this way, probably. And it looks like the loading area is on the right-hand side. So what I'm thinking is, you know, I, I eventually want chickens and, and cattle, too. So we could put something like... One there, one there, one there. And then if we went to animals, I'm probably not going to bother with the corral. I'm probably going to to save up for for the this cattle barn. Um, and so, see, that's going to be pretty good size there. Oh, wow, that's got a pasture too, doesn't it? Okay. Um, so if we turn this, like, say, this way, and we put it kind of right up against the road, I don't think there's anything on this backside that we would have to access. Get that straight. I'm not actually going to put it down right now. I'm just trying to, you know, figure out our space. Okay, there's a loading area there, probably for manure or slurry. So we could potentially put this right about here and still have enough room to maneuver around it. Uh, okay, so let's twist back this way. So we're so again we're we're talking right about there-ish. So I'm just trying to eyeball. Okay, so if we now go back to production greenhouses and flip them uh, this way, I think we could make this work if we if we make sure the greenhouses came all the way out to the edge of the grass here. <laughs> that should give us enough room. And then we could do one, two, three. And, you know, maybe have a little extra room there. Or we could even do a chicken. How big is the chicken thingy? Uh, chickens. 
Oh yeah, see that's not that's not that big actually. So so this could maybe go here. Okay, and then I'm I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And then this could go one, two, th or one, two, three. Yeah, I think we can do this. We're just going to have to really uh, be careful about, you know, how we place everything. And we're going to have to call in Larry's Landscaping Service to, to change this whole yard. Probably, we'll probably just change it to, um, to gravel. But we'll leave the road there. Nifty. Okay. So I like, uh, I like the possibilities here. We might might as well cut this grass and you know get a couple bales out of it, but be, you know before we destroy all this. But I think, you know, I think that's what we're gonna do. You know, greenhouse wise. Let's just look around back here. Is this an actual water thing that I could use? I don't know. There's some deer. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get my stuff moved over here and figure out where to put everything. And then when I'm finished with that, we'll uh, we'll probably cut this grass here, and and we'll also cut the the margin grass here. We might as well. And then then we're gonna plant grass here, and we're just gonna make this a field of grass until next. Uh, until next April, May ish, and then then we're gonna tear it up, uh, plow it back up, and put soybeans in on this field, and probably also just extend these fields to here and have just one big field going this way. And we might even do the same thing over on our oat fields too. Harvest that, plow it up, and then put grass on there, and then put soy a soybean crop on there too uh, next spring. Lots to think about, man. Lots to think about, but I'm excited. This is really cool. So yeah, let me get this stuff moved over and then I'll bring you back once I kind of have everything set up the way that I want it to be. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, pretty much have everything moved over here. So let me show you what I did. Uh, I didn't put anything in the barn because, whoa, there's a deer. Uh, it's a little too tight to get stuff in and out of there. We might store some hay in there later though. Uh, but we put the bale loader right there, but since that door doesn't work, we're not blocking anything. I put the Rudolph trailer over here for the time being. I didn't want to cover up uh, any of the grass because we're going to mow it. And let's see, we put the harvester in there and the baler in there and the back mower in there. And for our tractor at nighttime, we can just park this right in the barn. Let's pull it right in here like so. So that works pretty good. Uh, we need to... I want to get this front loader off. I don't really have a good spot to put that under cover. I suppose what we could do for now is we could maybe pop it in here. I don't know. Yeah, it's just really tight though. I'm not going to, I'm going to have a hard time getting it in there straight. It might look weird, but yeah, I sure wish we could drive down beneath the barn in that area down there, but we can't. I put the, you know, the, the flatbed right there. It's got the dolly on it and I just hate backing up stuff with dollies. I don't think that's going to fit underneath the roof there. Uh, but as you can see, I put my smaller implements underneath the overhang there for the moment. And I, you know what we could do, maybe, is maybe we could just pop this under here. It'll be sort of kind of under the eaves. Not really, but we could kind of pretend that it is. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's lower this down here. Make sure it's selected. There we go. All right. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much how I have everything stored at the moment. Now, I was thinking about making a couple of changes with our equipment. I was thinking about selling the flatbed. 
and getting a second using the money or at least part of the money from that and getting a second Rudolph trailer because we can link those trailers up A and B I believe we can uh, convert them into flatbeds let's confirm that before we commit to this you know I was I was also talking about plowing over this road but then I got to thinking oh we don't need to plow over the road we'll just have both fields be the same thing and still have this road go through here but we will plow up to the edge of the road when the time comes so we're making maximum use of our our land here so let's go back to our original property here and um, I'm gonna sell this this uh, tether because it's it's like really small and if the time comes that I need my own, that I need to own my own tether, I'll just buy a new one at that point. Oh, I guess I still have the weight on the back of here. Um, if it's contract work, I'll probably just use theirs. Oh, you know what? We gotta move the pressure washer too. I don't think we, I don't think we can move the pressure washer here. Let's see. Um, if we select it, yeah, it doesn't give you any way to move it kind of silly really if you think about it um tools uh you know what i'm i'm actually having some mouse issues okay i'm gonna have to fix that so i'll be right back all right guys i'm back um my uh my logitech wireless mouse uh just went belly up so i threw the damn thing in the trash <laughs> it's the left mouse button doesn't work on it anymore. Um, so I've got a backup mouse and we got that hooked up now. Uh, I also might have maybe taken a little bit of an online visit to the town of Mod Hub to <laughs> install a few extra bots. So the first thing um, is that if we go into here, can I demolish this? And if I do... Okay, good. I do get my money back. It's it's silly that we can't move that. However, I I one of the mods I installed is a pressure washer that we can move around. Okay, <clears throat> so we got that done, and I got some silos and some farmhouses and some other stuff for later on uh, too. So yeah, uh, let's see if we go to silos here. So I loaded. I think it was these, uh, no, not those things, uh, Meridian silos. And yeah, I think it was these guys. Oh man, those are still really expensive though. I can't remember which ones it is now. It's well, I actually loaded some silos, uh, a silo mod, but then I also loaded a mod that, yeah, this American farm buildings pack, which has a whole bunch of silos. Here, um, so this one here is, I, I think it's, I think it's a little OP. It's got 5 million liters and it's only $10,000. So, I mean, that's kind of the problem with this is that some of this stuff is, is really overpowered, you know, and I, I and I looked through it. So I, I don't, this just comes with the American farm buildings thing, but that is way too cheap for something like that. But this is a little more reasonable. Uh, um, you know, one of these types of silos. So we might go, yeah, the small silo set. That's the other one that I installed. So, yeah, we'll probably do that. We're probably going to be avoiding this. Or, you know, I might get it later on. In fact, you know what, though? This is actually like the one that's at the barn, isn't it? Uh, and it's usable. It's almost exactly like that one here's uh, okay here's the thing if I we can we can even clip it in there a little bit if I went with this I would pay more than ten thousand for it because um I've got I've got a um kind of a mod uh, or an admin mod called uh, power tools installed which lets me do things like super strength and add or remove money and I don't uh, the only time I use that kind of thing 
is, well, I use it on the multiplayer server because I'm the owner and admin of the server, but I also, you know, use it when things glitch out. Um, logging, for example, loading logs in this game is just glitchy as all get out. So, you know, when I, I try and do it the way I'm supposed to, but if things go south, then I just use super strength to fix it. Or, you know, if my tractor gets caught in between two cars on the road and I have to super strength it out of there, that sort of thing. But, you know, knowing that this is actually the silo that's on the barn, um, I kind of like to have it. But 5 million liters? That just seems way overpowered. It really does. So what I could do is, you know, we could put it right about there. And I know it glitches into the other silo, but I don't know what we could do about that. Because I can't get rid of the the existing silo. I guess what we could do is we could put them side by side and it just it'll just look like it, it's an extension and it'll make it a little more realistic that they're actually five million five million liters of this thing. Oh my goodness. Um but then I would also use the power tools uh thing and I, I would take away some more of my money to, to pay for it legit. But yeah, I, I still think that's way overpowered. We, I'll tell you what, we might do this in the future and I'll figure out how much I should pay for it at that point in time. But I, I just don't think we should do that right now. Um, however, we do got this silo here. Uh, this is a 500,000 liter, which is a little more realistic and it's 50 grand, which is kind of expensive, but, um, this is a bulk silo. This is a consumables. That's a small fruit silo XL for a hundred grand. With 10 million liters? Ooh. This house for storing bulk and liquid goods. Also accepts bales. Huh. Okay. So these are, I know I got a, a little bit off on a sidetrack here. What's this thing? That's two million and it cut. Yeah, well, no way. I can't afford that. I don't remember if it's the Meridians or the U Uinas that were that come with the game. I think it's maybe both, but this one has nine hundred and eighty thousand liters in it. Uh, no, that's actually just the bin, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I think these require these require an auger. Nah, I don't want to mess with that. So, yeah, I think our best bet for a silo is going to probably be this $50,000 silo here with 500,000 liters for starters. Because, you know, I, I feel comfortable, you know, that I'm not cheating or whatever, uh, paying 50000 for this. That's bulk goods. That's seeds, lime, and salt, you know. Yeah, okay. And maybe later on we'll we'll think about doing this but i i will you know make sure that i i pay for it for what i i feel is a fair price and i just can't afford what that price would be right now all right anyway sorry about that we got a little bit off on a, a tangent here but uh what we are going to do though is we're going to go to tools and this uh steel um high pressure washer is one that we can move now i don't know i'm not sure exactly how we move that um so for now, let's just put it over here. Um, where do we want to put this? Let's just stick it right here. Make sure it's nice and straight. And it's, you know, it's a thousand dollars less than the end game one, but I didn't really see any other options on the mod, uh, on mod hub for this. Okay. So we just basically purchased ourselves a new power washer which we can move i'm not sure how i move it though do i whoops i'm sorry let's get back in there do i move it while i'm in here or can i just move it while i'm what the oh okay now that would just sell it Okay, so probably what we have to do is, 
Here, let's grab this. Oh, I tried, <laughs> I tried, I tried to do that before, and I couldn't because I have the weight on. I know, it's only been a couple seconds for you guys, but it's been about 30 minutes for me because I had to take a phone call and do a couple other things while I was trying to fix the mouse issue. Oh, there goes our mailbox. Not the first time. Someone will come along and fix it. AKA restarting the game. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I'm just curious to see how how we actually move this thing. Because it's supposed to be movable. Whoops. Shut that off. Okay. So do I... How do I move it? Okay, it works just like the other one. But it doesn't give me, like, the little hand thing to move it. Um... Okay. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. I'll, I'll, I'll go... I don't... I don't remember seeing any specific instructions um, on ModHub for how to move it, so I didn't really look. I just figured it would be obvious, but it's not. So I'll figure that out later, I guess. Now, uh, we got a couple other things, too. Um, so let's go back into here and go to Tools. Now, I also purchased... Or, or, I'm sorry, not purchased. I loaded. U.S. Workshop. Okay, so this is the standalone mod. This vehicle workshop allows you to create a spot. And it looks like maybe they took that and also added it to the American Farm Buildings pack. So I think they're, these are exactly the same. Uh, but this is basically the same exact workshop here, except for that it has a... Uh, or, I'm sorry, same exact shed but it has an actual functioning workshop in it you know you can kind of see the the trigger point in the back there so that you can use that you know to repair and change out your things um it costs fifty five thousand dollars and these are only twenty thousand so yeah again this american farm buildings pack is really cool it's got some nice stuff in it but i think the prices are a little too op in it So what I would like to do, and I'm not going to do this right now because is there a way to sink that down into the ground? I uh, bet you there is. I'm going to have to figure out what the control is for that. Um, actually, here, can we do this? Place item toggle free mode off. What does that mean? <laughs> Place an object in free mode can cause issues with functionality. Uh, oh, okay. So now free mode's on. How do I... There's got to be a way to sink this into the ground. Uh, but I'm not seeing it. It's not showing up in the help menu. Okay, well... I guess I'll have to figure that out later because I'm I don't, I'm not actually going to buy this right now, anyways, because it's too freaking uh, expensive <laughs> uh, for us to afford. But what we can do is we can sell this garage for twenty four thousand, and then well, actually, if we would get we'd be able to pay for a little under half of this right now. How much money do we have? Nah, we better not mess with this yet. We're we're still not at a at the point where we can start spending money left and right. But anyway. Um, you know, this came with a lot of other cool stuff, this American uh, pack thingamadoodle. Uh, like, it's got a bunch of new farmhouses in here. Uh, this is a standalone farmhouse mod for twenty five grand that I installed. Um, or there's these here. So, again, we're not going to do any of this right now. But we will be looking at uh, this as we can afford it and as we, you know, upgrade our farm. One thing we are going to do right now, however is I also got this toolbox mod. Now, it's, so basically what this is, is this is a portable repair shop. 
it costs 750 bucks, so it's not free, and I still have to pay for the repairs just like I would at the shop. But it lets me do the repairs um, here without having to, you know, go to the shop. So uh, I think it makes perfect sense. I don't think it's OP. So we just need to figure out where to put it. And I can actually pick it up and move it around, but I think... Oh, yeah, we can put it in here. I think um, if you if you like lose it or something, it can respawn in its original location. So that's why we want to put it in a place that makes sense. So it does look like we could put it there, and we could we can just uh, here. Yeah, let's rotate it this way, and boom, there we go. Okay, cool. So a couple of nice little quality of life improvements. And again, you know, see, I can pick this up and take it anywhere. And I can put it in front of the tractor or near the tractor. And then um, how do I how do I actually use it, though? Pick up object, switch hand tool, super strength, throw object. Oh, R, workshop vehicle options. There we go. Cool. Um, all right, I must not have this positioned correctly. And it said something about how you had to position it. Open, no. Okay, open vehicle. Okay, drop object. So it's not registering the tractor. Do I have to have it in my hand? No. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to read up on that now, too. Am I supposed to look at the toolbox while I press R? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why it's not quite working, but I'll figure it out. There was some instructions, and I thought it just said you have to set it next to it, but there might be more to it. So I'll figure that out. But anyway, we're going to keep it right here for now. Um, yeah. Okay, good enough. <laughs> okay, so we got a pressure washer, which I don't know how to move, but I'm supposed to be able to. Um, and we now have uh, a nice little repairing toolbox, which I have to figure out. We have an option for a little bit less expensive silo when the time comes. And lots of options for uh, farmhouses and other cool things like that. So, uh, again, we'll be working on that sort of thing at, and upgrading as we go along. But I don't want to go too crazy here we, you know we need to keep a nice little chunk of operating you know cash on hand for all the things that we need to do so let's drop off our our weight here and then we're gonna go we're gonna go sell the that little tether just because i don't really want or need it right now and you know what we could do with this actually let's just put this Right here. That way it's not really in the way. And yeah, let's go sell that tether. And then uh, the next order of business is we're going to just mow the grass on the property. In fact, we have grass on our original property we can mow too. And we'll just make up some silage bales so we ha have a little extra cash. At some point, we want to start making hay and, and stuff like that and storing it for cattle. But we're we're a ways out yet before we're going to be able to do cattle. Um, you know, I want to focus on the greenhouses first. So, yeah, that is the plan. So much to do. This is so fun, though, man. It's just, it's just like a kid in a candy shop. We got our new farm now. Well... Actually, more accurately, we've expanded our farm because, you know, we still own this property, too. And um, just having a blast, man. Just having a blast. This game is... I should have started playing this game years ago. <laughs> but uh, just, you know, for whatever reason, hadn't gotten to it. Okay. I th think I've checked the used sales, too. We should look at that. Uh, but let's get down to the shop first, and then we'll take a look at that. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go over here. Man, we're gonna go to here and to here. And then we're gonna sell that. We're gonna get almost five grand from it. So there we go. So any future work where I need a tether, uh, if it's a contract, I'll just use the owners. If it if I need it for me, then like I said at that point in time, I'll either buy one or I will um I'll release it. Now here's a Rosselmosh header. I was actually looking at this earlier, but this is actually only five meters, whereas the um the Dutes Far one that goes with our combine is actually six meters. Um so yeah. I, w I wish that one would show up in the shop, and maybe it will. I mean, you know, we're still, we still have another, uh, we can wait until August, basically, before we have to harvest our oats. So, we do, we're, you know, we have a little bit more time. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the grass cut on all of my property. And just turn all that into silage. And we might even... I might store the silage or I might sell it. I don't know. We'll see. The thing about silage is the price fluctuation is not a, a, a huge gap. So, you know, it's not like we're going to make... Oh, it's raining. You know, tens of thousands more dollars by holding out. Well, I mean, it depends upon the quantity, but if we go here and we look at silage and we look at this, I mean, 148 to 193, that's not a huge price fluctuation at all. Um, on the other hand, you know, selling it right now, well, it is on the rise, so we could, we could store for a couple of months, I suppose. But I'm not going to get a bazillion bales anyways because we don't have a ton of grass if you think about it. So I'll figure it out. I might just end up selling it and, um, you know, just to get a little extra cash or something. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, guys, this was a great episode, man. Had a lot of fun, uh, you know, moving to the new farm and lots of fun stuff coming up for us here in the series. And, oh, wait a minute. There was one other thing I was going to look at. I was going to look at... I was going to look at selling the flatbed and getting another Rudolph trailer, which we can convert into a flatbed. And then we can actually have two if we needed them. Let's look at that really quick before I let you go. So if we go here and we go to, where's the trailers? Trailers right here. Uh, where's, where's my other trailer? Tractors, harvesters, trailers, mowers, balers, bale loaders. Okay. We get 13 grand for that. And then in order to, uh, where are we going? We're going here. Sorry, my brain's kind of going off on, on two different directions at the same time. And so I'm like confused here. Okay. So this costs 32,000. Um, but we would be able to knock off, you know, uh, knock it down to 19 if we sold the other trailer. And it sh and I believe we can set it up to function as a flat. Oh, we can't. This isn't that trailer, is it? Oh, I'm thinking of the other trailers. <sighs> All right. So this trailer, hmm, I think it's these, right? Is this the one that can be a flatbed? Now that doesn't even have the option to turn it into a flatbed. I know I was looking at one of these. Was it the Brantner? Yes. Okay, it's the Brentner trailer. This stores, how much does this store? Uh, 255 meters squared. Or I'm sorry, 25.5 meters squared compared to... 24.5. However, this one is more expensive. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. Well, you know, again, that's not something we have to do right now. I'm going to hang on to the flatbed for now. And we'll look at that later on. 
I'm just trying to be frugal. Trying to be frugal here. So, all right, you guys. Um, yeah, so here's the deal. I'm going to cut all the grass on both properties, turn them into silage bales. I'm going to wait until the rain finishes. I might even sleep now until July 3rd because I don't want to do this in the rain. Um, then we're going to call up Larry's Landscaping Service, and that's another reason why we need to save some money because this is what I want to do here is I want to basically turn this whole thing into gravel, and that's going to be expensive. That's going to be really expensive, actually. So, yeah, we're going to... We're going to need money, uh, you know, f to have Larry do that. Um, and then, oh, I'm going to have to think about that because I want to, we, we need to save $30,000 for the, for the three, um, for the three greenhouses. Now, there okay let me know what you guys think in the comments about something there is a version of this greenhouse on the mod hub i think it's the same exact one except for it requires liquid fertilizer and it has double the production these vanilla ones the ones that come with the game you only have to provide water you don't have to provide any fertilizer at all and the price is the same. So let me know if you guys think that's OP. OP, by the way, in case some of you don't know what that means, because I do have uh, some people who watching these videos that might not know what that means. Overpowered is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, Dad, you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, um, so same greenhouse, same price twice the production but we also then have to provide liquid fertilizer for it whereas this one we don't do you guys think that's fair because if you do i'm gonna i'm gonna buy the mod version um that requires the fertilizer and then we'll get double the production and i still have to pay for it because then i have to pay for fertilizer too so let me know what you think in the comments about that and then you know based upon uh you guys' feedback we'll decide uh what to do you know how we're going to proceed with that but but our very first goal here uh, in terms of, well, I should say our very first production that we're going to do is going to be, hey, look at this. I just noticed something. I can, <laughs> we've got crop destruction on. I can take care of my weeds by just running over them. Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> it's too bad we're not actually using this field, man. Look at that. Oh man, that is so cool. You know, there's a, uh, I mean, we could, I'm trying to think, we could get uh, like a, just a, like a front loader bucket or something. <laughs> just go ahead and scrape them up. It's so funny. I just noticed that. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. I, I'm totally digressing here. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because Larry the Landscaper is going to turn all this into gravel anyways for us, but oh. Any hoozle. I, I know. I, 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 I need to go. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun, you guys. All right. So, yeah, let me know uh, if you think the modded greenhouses for the same price, same size, but double the production, but also requiring liquid fertilizer, which is kind of expensive, is fair. And if you guys agree, then we'll go with those instead of the vanilla ones, which only requires water. Okay. Um, I need to go. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.